On its way to the moon, a mission China's government hopes will take the country one step closer to becoming an international space power. The spacecraft Chang'e 5 blasted off from the southern Chinese island of Hainan early on Tuesday. It's China's boldest lunar venture yet, aiming to retrieve samples of moon rocks for scientists to study. It could pave the way for Chinese astronauts to be sent to the moon within the next 20 years. We will consider verify and implement a man moon landing based on scientific needs and technical and economic conditions. Future lunar exploration activities should be carried out in the combination of man and machine. Named after an ancient Chinese goddess, Chang'e 5 is the first mission of its kind to take place since the 1970s. For the Chinese government, space exploration is now a priority and source of national pride. China first sent a man to space in 2003, the third country after the United States and Russia. It's since invested billions into various strategic missions. In January 2019, China became the first country to land a rover on the far side of the moon. In July, the Tianwen-1 set course for Mars and is expected to land in May next year. And by 2022, China hopes to have its first space station in orbit ready to host Chinese and international astronauts for long-term scientific research. But China's abilities haven't always matched its ambitions. Its Long March rocket failed to successfully launch three times earlier this year. The Chinese government views space exploration as vital for boosting the economy and advancing technologies that will benefit the military and high-end industries. Because of this, Beijing's rapid progress in space has become another aspect of the US-China rivalry. NASA has been banned from collaborating with China due to security concerns. In May, the Trump administration flagged what it described as China's weaponizing of space as a threat to the U.S. Beijing has dismissed the accusation, saying its space activities are peaceful. It's unclear whether China will share any lunar samples it brings back from this latest mission with the rest of the world, but discussions are reportedly underway with the European Space Agency. The Chang'e 5 spacecraft is scheduled to return to Earth and land in China's northwest in the middle of December. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.